Hello YouTube, this is Astro Patriot, and this is a response to the video made to me from Survival for the Family. First let me say I apologize for not getting this video out quicker. I've been busy nights, and uh, that's really no excuse. And second of all, the question you asked me was great. So let me see if I can try to explain to you my theory on this. You asked me in your video, Astro Patriot, if you believe that there's a binary star out in this location, and we can't see it because it's blocked from the sun, would it not make more sense with this object coming in that the binary star should be here and this object coming in rotating around it? Great question. Really. Let me get into saying that this is the program. I don't, I don't use the program uh, from JPL at all, but, uh, and I'll get into that in just a minute. But uh, this is the way it's presented to you on YouTube in most of the videos. It's shown like this, and it's shown the comet coming down in this direction, out around here, and Earth coming right by it here. Okay, let's go ahead and flip the planets, because right now you're seeing them flip. Let's put them in the right location for 2011, March the 3rd. That would be more like it. The Earth would be in this position here. Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. And I want you to pay attention to Mars and Jupiter right here on this program. Now, if you're going to present a program that's going to show an object that's coming in and may or may not hit me, my point is put the planets in their proper location. And they're not in their proper location. So with not being uh, in their location correctly, I don't know if I'm going to be affected by this object or how close it's going to come. So let me take you to another program that I use. And I hope you can all see this screen. And you can see that here too, the planets are not in their proper location. But let's go ahead and set the date here. I'm going to go 2011, March, and we'll go ahead and go today, which is the 3rd and set that up. Now you have Saturn, the Earth, Mars, and Venus. That's the proper location for 2011 March. Let's go back to JPL here just for a second and I want you to notice that you have Mars, like I said, and Jupiter way out here. In this particular program, Jupiter should be down here. I don't know why they have it way out here. I don't know if it's a, it's a delusion to throw you off. I have no idea and don't even want to get into that part of it. And I go back to my program here and show you. The JPL has Jupiter in this location. Makes a great big difference in my opinion. And later on as we go down the line here, I'm going to explain it to you. So yes, I believe there is a binary star in this location and not hidden by the Sun right now and not even for that matter hidden by Saturn so why can't you see it most people will never ever see a binary star it's so cold you would have to have the proper equipment to scope this area out so let me move along here to get into the comet Elenin thing I'm going to bring up a map here and show you that this is an area that I've been spending a great deal of time through my evenings scoping. And for the life of me, I cannot find anything in this area here where Comet Ellen is supposed to be, much let alone somebody found it with an 18-inch telescope. But this is the constellation of Virgo, and here is Saturn. Ellen is supposed to be in this location. I'm going to move over here to the constellation of Leo. This area here is boxed off. I have been noticing something in this area for the last six months. Straight across here is the constellation Orion. And this is Betelgeuse. And we're going to talk about Betelgeuse here in just a minute. This area here that I've told you that I've been scoping out over the last eight months I believe is moving in this direction and I believe eventually as it gets closer to the constellation of Orion you're gonna notice it 
Back to the headlines we go. NASA says you'll see a second sun in the sky. Is that already a seed planted? Well, let's get to it. As this object moves in this direction and it brightens up, it's going to appear as a second sun. However, the object is not here yet, so now we're already going back to Betelgeuse, and NASA says that Betelgeuse is expected to go supernova and appear as a second sun in the sky. Are you following the dots here? All the way to the ELE. Elenin. Saturn. I go back to this program here really quick. And I want to show you that I don't agree with this flight path at all. The object that I'm looking at is coming in retrograde. Not prograde. Retrograde. Which takes me back to... Excuse me, I'm not very good at doing live, um, live videos. I can be a bore at times. Let's go here, and we're going to go back to this area. And let's go ahead and turn on the lights. And what do we get? Saturn. And this should be the area, which is Virgo. This should be the area that Comet Elenin should show up on. It should show enough of a heat signature at this point to at least come up under the infrared to show the heat signature uh, and be there. You cannot even find this object on Google Sky. But out here a little bit further to the object that I've been looking at, straight across, Betelgeuse would be out in this area. There's Jupiter. Betelgeuse would be in this area. Let me take it up just a couple of notches for you. Pull it back out here so we don't lose it. Let's go up one more and look at this object. Now, what made me look at this object in the beginning eight months ago? Well, eight months ago when I started looking at this object, it was way back here. I was tipped off from a friend of mine to go into skymap.org and type in in capital letters the word Nibiru. And I typed it in. And this is what I came up with, but further back in that direction. And I didn't believe it. So I decided I would spend a lot of time and set up a very large telescope and look at this area. Well, I'm going to tell you that over the last eight months that I've been watching this area, this particular area, this particular area, and notice I'm calling them areas, and I'm not using the word Nibiru, and this particular area, have been orbiting around this star. I know a lot of you are going to say, no, that can't be. So what I've gone ahead and I've done is I've created a channel. And I know a lot of you have emailed me for the link, and I apologize. I've read your emails, and I will get the link out to you. I have put a live stream camera on that site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the scope plugged into this field area. And I'm going to go ahead and put this, the images of the scope on that live stream camera. So that you can go out and, uh, and scope this area with me on a daily, nightly basis. And we'll put little pin marks in these locations so that you too can see that these locations are orbiting this area. One more time, I want to go back to the JPL database before I get this video done. And I'm going to go ahead and swing this flight path in this direction more. Okay? I told you I believe there's a binary star in this location. But I believe that whatever is rotating around it, and I showed you that in orbit, is coming retrograde. That's pretty important to me. 
So now I want to go back to this program and show you why I believe it's important. I want to set another date in here. And I want to use the date of November the 18th. So we're going to go November the 18th, 2011. And hold on a second. I don't believe that I did that correct. I want to go actually, no, I want to, I apologize. I want to take that back to August the 18th, 2011. With the object that I believe is out here, and I believe whatever is orbiting it is orbiting it retrograde, I believe will come in around this location and out. I made a video showing you that I believe there will be an eclipse of the moon. Uh, no, I apologize again. It's been, it was a very late night for me. An eclipse of Mars. This is the visual sight here of Mars. And I believe when this object comes in retrograde around Mars and blocks Mars will be the telltale sign, in my opinion, that this object is for real. And once it passes out, I believe that a lot of space debris is going to be left in this particular location. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this into uh, motion view. And I want you to remember that the object is now passed out, but there is a, a lot of space junk left in this area. And here's where it, it gets interesting. As you can see, the Earth begins to orbit right into the trash left behind by that object. That's been what my biggest concern has been. I want to jump right back here really quick and I want to go back to this location and I want to say that if there is a comet in here either I'm missing it or it is not there. So to play devil, uh, devil's advocate I'm going to go ahead and say that the comet is here and if it continues the flight path as close as it's going to be to Earth, you should see more on the web about it. It should be more in the mainstream media. I mean, you can really find nothing about this comet. But if it is there, it is so small that I want to make this clear. It will not cause a geographic pole shift on March 15th. Absolutely not. I want you folks to realize that you don't have to run out and buy all this food and get the bug out bags and the vehicle ready and head for the hills. This comet is not going to cause a geographic pull shift, neither is it going to hit the earth. I would be a little bit more concerned about this area and this is what concerns me out in the constellation Leo. I'm going to stay with this as much as I can, and I hope I'm wrong. And I have known to be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. I don't want to say that I'm the, I, you know, I don't want myself to be presented on YouTube as I'm the go-to guy, because I'm not the go-to guy. This is a theory that I have. It's just the way that I'm thinking. And to me, and all the time that I've spent looking in the sky, this area here looks real strange. Anyway, I hope I've cleared that up as best I can for you, and uh, I look forward to putting out some more videos, and I look forward to linking the scope to this area so that you people can follow along with me, and uh, we'll get that done real soon. I'll go through my mail today, and I will definitely uh, email you folks the link. I want you all to have a great day, and I hope this was helpful. If not, well then, thumbs down to Astro Patriot.